Next news is out of the USA. Many U.S. prisons deny Muslim inmates halal food and proper prayer. A new report that came out that was done by the Muslim Advocates, an organization called Muslim Advocates, revealed truths about Muslim experiences in the U.S. prisons. I uh, hope that anyone who has access to this um, this news article click on the report and read the report that they did so that you can understand better what they found. Among the things that they found uh, were that Muslims are significantly overrepresented in the American prisons. So in the United States, Muslims make up about 1% of the U.S. population, but they're saying that in prisons, they make up about 9% uh, of who's in there. And then in some states like Maryland, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, uh, Muslims make up 20% of the population. Now, here's the deal. Okay, and here's where their their research might have been skewed a little bit, is uh, they don't go in as Muslims. They find the religion while they're in prison, and that, of course, boosts that percentage. But it sounds so much better to say that 20% of them are are in prison when there's only 1% of them in America. So, um, you know, important to, to read research there. Muslim advocates found that uh, some of the more common reported discrimination that Muslims face in jail uh, is that is their dietary restrictions. And what I don't know is I don't know if these prisons that were studied also deny like a kosher food to, to Jewish inmates oh, or, um, you know, vegetarian meals for Catholics on Fridays. Uh, so, but they're saying that that they do not get halal food uh, in prison. Babies and they're also saying atheists. that during... Babies what's for, that? Babies for atheists. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> that's exactly what atheists need mm -hmm. to keep growing strong. Uh, in Ramadan, they are served pork sandwiches um, and they're not providing them with enough calories to sustain themselves while fasting. Uh, and they're also saying that some of their prayer conditions are inadequate. Like they, they're not giving proper... Um, time or space to pray. Okay. So these are the, the problems that uh, this organization, Muslim Advocates, is saying Muslim inmates face in America. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be somewhat controversial here, but boo fucking who? Like, like what, the, what do they want? Like, um, do they want... Do, is the jail now supposed to have accommodations for every religion? Like, dude, what I don't understand. First of all, their religion allows them to eat whatever the fuck they want if there's no options available. So it's bullshit if they're demanding the prison to give them halal food and all that shit. Bullshit. Even your religion allows you to eat haram food if you if there's no halal food available. So the, you're just you're, these these what is this nonprofit group Muslim advocate they're just trying to become relevant being like oh we're being oppressed they're giving you food be grateful you're in prison this is not a five star hotel where you can make demands this is what's on the menu this is what i want where is my prayer section you don't need a prayer section you could have a mat in your own cell we could pray wherever you want you just need this small amount of you need just very small amount. You know, when I'm, tra I'm traveling right now, right? When I don't have access to a gym, I come up, go online, look for exercises that require a very low amount of room, okay? And I just do burpees and push-ups. I use my bed. I use my chair. I'll make do, okay? And these people are like, no, we want... Now they're in jail. And they're making demands that they want their own prayer sections. They don't have adequate prayer sections. Your own jail cell, you, what do you need? You just need a fucking floor. You don't need anything to pray. You don't even need to pray with other people. That's just something that Islam says is better if you pray with other people. You could pray by yourself, according to Islam. But even if the Islam, even Islam made it mandatory that you have to pray with other people, so fucking what? You want the government to now see like, hey, please tell us what your religion requires of the United States government to 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 make your to make your practice of religion um, easier for you while you're in jail, like. No. Do they, do they do that to Satanists? Do they do that? Like, are they going to have, like, now, are we going to have a prayer section for Muslims and now for Christians and another one for Jews and one for Hindus and one for Sikhs and one for Zoroastrians and one for Satanists? And what, what is this? What is this demand? This is, they're just a, this, is the, this is a way that you just try to show who's in power. You're trying, this is a way for Islamic organizations in the United States just to, like, 
show that they're make, they're pushing you know they're using all this pc culture because if you say no to these guys like oh oppression discrimination and like yo we're gonna come at you with that we're gonna make you look like you're oppressing muslims and they just use that bullying tactic to just get what they want and more they, this is how they become more influential this is how you get big organizations like care because you just they demand things and if they don't give you and be, this is how you grow and become more relevant and muslims see that wow you got the u.s government to back down, you know, to, to give in to your demands. Here's more donations to you. Like you could go to your people to follow, like, hey, send us more donations. Look what we're doing for our Muslim prisoners. Bullshit, like what the hell do you think this is? This is not, this is prison. It's not a hotel. If they give you a pork sandwich, just fucking eat it. It's, you could just be like, hey God, sorry, I have to eat this because this is the only thing available. God, even in your own fucking religion, that's allowed. That's allowed. You could. You're not. You know. You could, if God is not going to be like, no. You should have died from hunger. E even your stupid religion at least gets that right. That God doesn't make it a sin when you don't have any other option. It's not a sin. You could eat your pork sandwich, and it's not a sin because you could. Because the other option would be just staying hunger and that uh, uh, just staying hungry, and or dying from hunger, and that would have been actually a bigger sin. So you're allowed to eat your fucking pork sandwich while you're in prison. In fact, use this as an opportunity to enjoy pork because you could not actually enjoy pork without it being a sin. Okay? God damn it. So uh, the, the author of this study, the main author of this study, uh, says that we don't know for certain why the numbers are so many referring to Muslims in, in prison. As I went over before, 1% of the population is Muslim in the U.S., 9% are found in most prisons, sometimes up to 20%. Uh, but he gives some possible factors, saying that it's probably for harsher sentencing to Muslims, increased surveillance for Muslims, uh, and enforcement for Muslim communities as far as, as well as conversions in prison. So this is actually very simple. Or maybe they commit uh, if they more crimes. they actually wanted to research this, Mm. It is absolutely conversions in prison. You oh. can research it. You can actually go to the prisons. You can actually speak to people. You can see when they started uh, identifying as Muslim. Um, and and so this is part of the study that I feel was very, um, uh, I don't want to say misinformed, uh, but it, it was not it was not studied. And I feel like it's it's so we there don't know. to be uh, to be to trick people, um, to say, look, Muslims are being sentenced harsher than other people. Muslims are doing this, but they don't have any proof of that. Right. They're just saying that that's why there's so many that are in prison. So, so I don't think it would be, okay. So there's three possibilities, right? Either they're committing more crimes or they're being arrested more often because they're being unfairly targeted. Okay. Uh, or there's or it's because of conversions and I don't think conversions. I mean, I don't know But I don't think conversions would make such a drastic level of change. You, you just said the difference is how much average in conversion in prison would Would and it's a uh, 1% of the population in the US identify as I'm as Muslim, Muslim. 9% in So prison. you're saying nine they, they it becomes nine times more from 1% to 9% because of conversions absolutely okay so i don't know well that's a very high success rate in conversions and i do know it's, that in the United I, States, um you get more privilege if you have a religion oh you get more privilege if you are religious and so um and that's because you get to go to chapel you get to go to and 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 muslim prisoners have the right to do this right? right they have the right to practice their religion they have the right to gather together to prayer um and they they can do it if they're unhappy with this so space, it's so have shit, interesting that's too bad if they think that you know they get constant they get it constantly put in for holidays and things like that they get it if it's convenient for the prison at the time you know, if it's too it's, much, it's too much, and they, they'll get denied. But they do have the right to meet together and do things. So it's it's uh, when when people go into prison, they find Jesus. They mm. find God. They find Allah. They find whoever they want to find that's going to give them more privilege. Absolutely, you will see a huge spike in people um, um, converting religions. If they see that this, this area gets treated better than this religion, uh, they will convert in prison. So it's so it's so interesting that they managed to get these privileges even though they are not mandatory in their religion. 
Like the, to me, this shows the, the how much power Islam is having on Western societies. Where gathering together and praying together is encouraged, but not it's not mandatory in Islam. But they have managed to get it from the U.S. government as a right. Okay, something that is not mandatory in Islam. This to me shows how much influence these Islamic organizations are having on U.S. politics. Right. Um, we, we atheists, would, like Christians, get managed to get a lot as well. We atheists would, do not ever, ma can even hope for getting anything like that, right? Um, so so fair, fair point on the conversion, but th the main point is that we don't know what the reason is. Like it could be any of these three, right? But to me what is interesting is that the people, a lot of people on the left, without evidence, will claim that this is because Muslims are being targeted more and a lot of people on the right, not all of them and not all of them on the left and not all of them on the right a lot of, a lot of people on the right without evidence will claim that this is because Muslims commit more crimes right? because evidence be damned I'm just going to take a side that fits my political ideology right? and the right answer, the right answer is Guess, guess what's the right answer is? We don't know. We don't know. That's the right answer, right? Um, Shopam, did you want to add anything to this? No, it's okay. Also, I just wanted to ask, like, halal food, like, that's like torturing animals before killing, right? What? Say that again. Halal food is what? Halal food is like uh, just torturing animals before killing. Okay, so halal food is you have to do as well. Technically, it ends up to that uh, in the modern era because if you go back to, to when they started cutting, so halal just means you cut you, a Muslim cuts the uh, head of the sheep or cow or whatever while pointing it towards the Kaaba and saying Bism Bismillah right before they do it. Um, but and it's it's a quick cut, but it's still slow is slow bleeding right um, you know so it dies in a short amount of time but it suffers until it dies the thing is now if you compare that to the way that more hum more humane ways of slaughtering animals which is with the stunt gun right right at the back right into the uh, right into the spine right um, right under your under the brain um, those are instant right so those are more common, more ad modern practices in Western countries where the animal doesn't suffer at all. Like it's, it doesn't even see it coming. It's boom, instantly just drops, right? No suffering. So technically, because compared to that, the animal goes through a, a, some suffering, you, could, you say that keep maintaining halal food is torturing animals, right? In, in this day and age, right? And that's why some countries are banning both kosher, not just halal, also kosher food, right? And that's why some countries are banning both of them. And that's why both Jews and um, both Jews and Muslims are extremely angry on those countries. And think they call oppression, oppression, let us torture animals. This is my right to torture animals. Um, the top comment is by Chris is saying, so long as they deny all religions equally, I'm okay with this. Uh, in prisons, uh, your fr in prisons, your freedom is considered. This includes all religious freedoms. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you obviously it would be bullshit if the Muslim if the Jews were getting their food the way their religion demands it and Muslims weren't getting it, that would be insane, right? That would be obvious discrimination. And I think not, not, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but I think it's nobody should nobody should be like, hey, my fair my fairy tale says this, so give me this. My imaginary friend told me that I need to eat this, so this is like this is here's a, give me a menu and I'll tell you what you can bring me. Like I think no none of them should be um, you know no people's religion is should people you have the you have the freedom to practice your religion, you don't have the freedom to demand other people to practice your religion or to give you services to you because you're practicing a religion you just have the freedom to practice your religion that's all uh, you can't demand services based on this based on this freedom mark is saying if your god won't love you because you eat the wrong food you have you have a sorry ass god 
I mean, yeah, if any, every God is the sorry as God. John is saying, how can they be denied proper prayer? You can pray anywhere, anytime. It's literally just talking to yourself. Exactly. I, well, again, some Muslim I say like, no, it's okay. In, in Islam, prayer, there's two different words for prayer, right? You have Salat and you, I mean, just praying to God is different from actually doing your five times prayer. That's just more rich. There's more a specific ritual for the five times prayer. And you need a certain level of space, but as long as you could, if you could do a burpee, then you have enough space to do the Islamic prayer, okay? You don't need to be with other people. To, uh, it's better, you get more rewards if you're with other people, but it's not mandatory. Some is, is saying, well, they could always pray to get out. Prayer works, right? Again, people are misunderstanding the two different kinds of prayer in Islam. The prayer that you, there's one is dua, the other one is salat, like, the prayer that you do to God and you ask Him for some favors, there's a different word for that in Islam than the ritual prayer that you do five times a day a, a, to... That's not a request. That's you doing your religious duties. Completely different concept. In English, they translate to the same word. Um, Ali, Shabam, you guys want to add anything? Yeah, B said, I'm sure a Sikh can't wear the kippa in jail. Um, oh, you mean the, the little knifey thing. Those are cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't be able to wear that in jail. They wouldn't? Good. That's right. Good. Yeah, good Good point, Beach. That's a very good point. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, religions don't don't allow the Sikhs to bring that to prison, and they shouldn't. So if Sikhs are not getting any religious favors, Muslims shouldn't. You know, that's a very good example, Beach. Okay, let me close. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to say something. Like, if prisons are really offering rights, religious rights to people then like if i invent a religion where my religion demands me to be i mean demands the prison to free me then yeah. will the prison free me <laughs> yeah my my religion uh it is makes it mandatory not to be in jail atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.